I'm doing, I'm not entirely sure when it's going to be uploaded, but I'm going to a festival in two days time, I'm going to Latitude and I thought I would do a Festival Essentials video because um, as this is my first festival I've been looking around the internet recently um, for a few essentials that I'm going to need to take in, I've been looking up uh, makeup ideas, hair ideas, things that I really need to take that I'm going to need, um, clothes, um, everything. So I'm going to talk through a few different things that I think that you'll need for a festival. So really hope you enjoy this video. For any festival that you're going to, if you're going to be camping, it's just an absolute no-brainer that you're going to be needing a tent. This tent is a one that I've had for a very long time. Um, I had it since I was younger. But tents um, are something that you can get around a lot. Um, Argos sell them and camping stuff is usually um, reduced a lot because it's the time of year that um, people go camping. If you have got a tent that's great but you will need a tent. Make sure that you get one that's like a pop-up tent um, or one that's quite easy to assemble because it just saves time and it's just so much more easier. You also need a sleeping bag. Um, I'm not going to show you my sleeping bag because it's a sleeping bag. Um, but you can get uh, sleeping bags that have like hoods and stuff on, they are great for festivals and um, they keep you nice and warm at night. My one's just a simple one that I've had again, like my tent um, for a while. Um, so that's one that um, I just take with me when I go camping. Make sure that you get one that's quite warm um, but at the same time is not so thick that it's really heavy. You're also going to be needing a bag. This one is nearly as big as me, I still have no idea how I'm going to carry it. But um, that one is really great because you can fit loads of stuff in it. Um, I'm going with my boyfriend and I'm going to be taking that bag and he's going to be taking another one. Um, so we're going to have a lot of luggage to carry. It's great because you can put on the top like your tent or you could attach say a roll mat on top. Um, it's also got lots of pockets in, lots of space to put water bottles and that type of thing. So you're going to need a bag with lots of storage in it. Speaking of roll mats, um, I picked up this camping roll mat which is from B&M's and it was only £2.49 which is just amazing. This is great because it's really lightweight, it's really easy to carry, you don't want to be taking loads of luggage with you that's really heavy. Um, some people don't usually bother with these but I tend to find that when I'm camping um, it can get quite uncomfortable after a few nights and you don't want to be spending the festival complaining about your back and um, just having a rubbish time because you haven't had a good night's sleep or whatever. I have checked the weather forecast for going to Latitude on um, Thursday and the weather's looking good so far but as this is Britain and it will probably rain um, I have prepared myself with a nice um, waterproof coat. This one I got off Depop. Um, I wanted to get it from Topshop a while ago but they were quite expensive and um, they had them in the sale a while ago but I think they went quite quickly. They also have in there at the moment um, a, like a gold glittery one with um, like black detailing and everything on it but I was thinking that's sort of a little bit out there. I want something that's going to be like really easy to style up with different outfits. I think that these are like really great. If it's raining it's really miserable, at least you can still see your outfit underneath which is really nice. So. Okay so now I'm going to speak about the essentials that you're going to need for things like skincare, that type of thing. You're definitely going to be needing some Batiste. After a few days of um, having not had a wash and your hair's going to be getting a little bit greasy, you're definitely going to be needing to put some of this in because Batiste just freshens your hair up and leaves it feeling a little bit nicer, feeling like more bouncy and feeling washed. Um, these are great, you can get them in loads of different smells and stuff. Also you're going to want to take some tissue. Um, I picked up this um, tissue, um, I'm not entirely sure where I actually got these from, but these are really great because when you go to a festival um, and they have port they don't always have toilet paper in them, so you're going to want to take some spare toilet paper just to keep in your bag just in case they don't. Also a water bottle. I'm not sure entirely if I'm going to be taking this water bottle yet but I think I'm going to pick up a Brita water bottle. Um, they sell those I think on places like Amazon, Argos, um, I think they do them in Boots so I'm going to be picking one of those up. Basically the idea of um, Brita water bottles is that they have a filter down the middle of them and they will filter the water so that it will be a lot more um, cleaner and um, more nice to drink. This one I've got at the moment, these are great because you can freeze them and they'll be nice and cool to drink. You may not be able to use those very well at a festival though because if you don't have anywhere to freeze it then 
there's not really much point but it's still great to take a water bottle with you. One major thing that you cannot forget to take to a festival is sunscreen. Um, sunscreen you're really going to need because you may not notice it but you'll be standing in the sun all day um, even if it is quite overcast and there's not a lot of sun you're still going to be standing and you're still going to be getting the rays on you. I think I'm also going to be taking with me some um, after sun because sometimes I do burn slightly and then you don't want to be spending the festival feeling like um, you burn and you feel a bit in pain and stuff because of that so take some after sun it will cool it down a little bit it's also great if you can take any sort of sprays that will cool yourself down because you will get hot at a festival pick this one up from Avon but you can get these from anywhere this video also applies if you aren't even going to a festival and you're just going camping for the weekend Miniatures are really great to take. As I mentioned with the toothpaste, you can get those in places like Boots and they're to a lot of miniature ranges. Um, this one I've got is just for an example. Um, you can pick up miniatures like shampoo and conditioner out there, really great to take with you. I'm not entirely sure if the festival I'm going to um, allow me to take with me um, any electricals, but um, I have these. Um, these are cordless gas straighteners. Again, this is if you are just going camping or something for the weekend. People find it quite hard to go without having heat on their hair for a few days, like me. Um, I always have to um, use heat um, on my fringe sometimes, um, so it's really good to use for those. These go up to 215, which is amazing, so it's just like using normal straighteners. Also, they are ceramic um, coated plates and they're long lasting. These are Babylus, I'm not sure whatever brands do them, but um, if you could get hold of some of them, they're really good to take. So. There are those. Hand sanitizer. You're going to need hand sanitizer. You're going to be using the portaloos a lot. You're going to be um, going to the toilet and then you're going to have to have something to eat. So you're going to need to make sure that your hands are really clean. I picked this up in Superdrug. Um, you can get hand sanitizer from anywhere though. Also, I got this really nice bum bag from um, Primark. I think bum bags are great for festivals. I think they keep all your belongings in there but keep it um, really close to you so that. Um, no one can put their hand in there or anything. You're going to want to keep all your essentials, um, your sort of phone, um, camera, anything like that. Keep it in your bag, make sure you keep it safe, don't leave it in your tent. This was only £7, but you can pick up bum bags from loads of different places. Um, this is really gorgeous because I think it's really nice with the um, sort of snakeskin style to it. It's also got this um, strap on it here. Um, this is really nice because I find that sometimes bum bags are quite hard to find a size that fits around your waist. Um, this one is like a belt, so you can make more holes in it so it will fit really tightly to you. You can also get ones that are sort of like clip ones. If not a bum bag, then make sure you get a small bag that you can keep really close to you. As I mentioned earlier, hair stuff. At a festival, obviously your hair is going to get very greasy and stuff. On about day two or day three, you're going to want to tie it up, get it out of your face because it's just going to be really greasy and um, really annoying. I've picked up a few different things, like I've got this on my head at the moment, which um, I'm planning on wearing. I've also got this like feathered headband that I picked up a while ago. Um, that's really pretty and anything like that. Um, also, I've got... Um, some floral pieces. You're going to want something that's going to want to distract it away from the state of your hair basically. <laughs> okay so I'm going to talk about clothes now. I've got quite a lot to get through. I haven't actually decided what I'm going to be wearing yet but I'm just going to talk through um, a few things that I think are really essential to take when you have a festival. A kimono. This kimono I've had um, about a year now. Um, I got this in the sale in New Look when it was coming to the end of the summer. Um, this is really cool because it's like um, an Aztec sort of style um, kimono. Um, it's also great because it's like short sleeves. They're really cool to wear, at the same time it sort of keeps you warm. Kimonos are an absolute um, festival staple. I picked up this really really cute pair of um, elephant shorts that I got off Boohoo. These were only £8. Um, I, I'm just obsessed with elephants. If you've seen other videos, I think I've probably talked about elephants like every single time. I just love them and... These are really, really sweet because they're really nice print on them. There's those. Another thing that I picked up from Boohoo was this play suit. It's really cute because um, it has these little tassels on the bottom. Um, I'll just show you there on the camera. It's khaki. I love anything that's khaki. There's headbands on at the moment that I bought to like wear with this because I just think it will go really nicely together. It's also really cute because it's got this like sort of slit 
down it so it's really nice because it's a nice um, sort of style to it and this is just really great to style up because it's quite plain so it's something that you can accessorise a lot. Some of the things I picked up I bought from Primark and um, these are some denim shorts I picked up. Um, I think denim shorts are an absolute staple when you go to a festival. These are great because these are like um, high waisted and they are also mom style jeans. Um, which means that they'll be like really nicely fit in. These are really nice because they're just like a simple um, denim colour. I also picked up a black pair in those as well. Again, they're the same style shorts. Um, I can't remember how much these were, but I think they were around 10 or 12 pounds. So they're really great to pick up. Definitely get a pair of denim shorts when you go to a festival. I picked up this too from Primark. Um, this is a cardigan. Um, basically, when you go to a festival, you're going to get quite cold in the evenings and um, it's going to get quite chilly and you're going to want to put something on to warm you up a little bit. I bought this because I think it would be great for that. And they're also like short sleeves as well so it's going to keep you like warm but at the same time it's not going to be too hot. I love it because it's got these like little tassels on the bottom. I've just sort of gone crazy with like tassels and fringing because um, this is my first festival I'm just going to go all out for all that kind of stuff. This was only £12 which I think is amazing for something like that. I found this in the sale in Primark. Um, which is this gorgeous top. I think this is really pretty and I think this is like a fair piece as well. Um, it's got really nice crocheting on the shoulders there. Um, it's also got um, like a shoulder detailing on there and um, on this sleeve it's got this lovely like um, Aztec-y sort of pattern on it and um, it does up with like a little tie around here which I think is also really really cute. This was actually supposed to be £6 and I paid 3 for it, it was in the sale I just think that's a really nice piece. This two piece, um, I got this off Depop, uh, as I mentioned in my last video I wanted it two piece for ages. Um, this two piece I got um, was made by a girl who would made it so beautifully, I'm going to pop her name um, in the description box down below so that you can um, get something from her. She made me this beautiful two piece, I'll just show you the shorts first. These have this really lovely um, detailing on the bottom there and um, they've got this lovely daisy print material on there. They're just made so nicely. They're quite high waisted as well which I love. This is the top that goes with it. It's a lovely simple sort of tank top so that's something that you could wear with shorts as well which I think would look really nice. Wearing two pieces is something that's really easy to take to a festival because it's sort of like an outfit that's just like out of the way straight away. Um, and also it's something that you can mix and match with other things. That's sort of the idea when you go to a festival is that you can sort of make a wardrobe that's sort of like a capsule wardrobe. It's easy to swap things around. If you get there, um, what you've got is what you've got to wear. So it's best just to like work with that. Got this um, cropped up in Urban Outfitters. Um, this was at the end of last summer. I picked this up. Um, it was in the sale. This is really lovely because crop tops I think are something really nice to, as well to wear at festivals. This has got a really nice detailing on, it's like sort of scalloped around the neck um, and that's the back as well. It's like buttons up as well which is really nice. Another crop top I picked up was this from H&M. This is gorgeous because it has these little tassels on the bottom again. Um, this is really nice and easy to style up. This was only £4. I picked up this waistcoat from Oh My Law. Um, I'm just calling it the festival piece to end all festival pieces <laughs> just because it is so gorgeous. It has this amazing tasseling on it down here. Um, this is beautiful. It's just something that you can put on over most things. It's got this really gorgeous studded detailing on there. And this was um, supposed to be £45 and I paid £21 for it. Um, and it is just absolutely beautiful. It looks so festively. So I'm just absolutely loving that at the moment. It's my favourite piece. I cannot wait to wear it. I've got this um, t-shirt. Um, it was actually a vest and I've turned it into a t-shirt with the print on that was off the vest. At the moment it still has the pins in it, um, but I'm, once it's done I'm going to turn it into a little crop top and that should be really lovely to wear. Also I spoke about these um, in my last video that I did, on my last haul I did, um, with some wellies. Definitely make sure you get a pair of wellies, if not get a really nice pair of boots. Okay so that's all from me. Um, I think I covered most things for Festival Essentials. If you have any more suggestions then just pop them down below. I think it would be really helpful for everyone, anyone that's going to a festival. Really hope you've enjoyed this video everyone. Bye!